Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video, we'll be showing how to create dripping effect on your images. So first off, bring our image to Photoshop and then we're going to crop the image from the background. So now we're going to unlock the background and then go to select and then click on subject. So this is going to select the image from the background. So now we're going to right click and click inverse and just delete our background and now we're going to create another layer and we're going to name this background and then bring it behind the layer so now we're going to reduce the image size and put it in the middle so now we're going to create the effect by going to filter and we'll go to liquify so now you're going to use the settings for your brush you're going to use brush size of 200 to 300 then you're going to use a density of 50 and pressure of 100 so now we're just going to go down and just Start pulling on the bottom of the image until so we we'll start seeing the dripping effect. We're just going to pull, pull down just like this. You can take your time to do this so it's just going to look real, you know. So it's good to make them unequal so they don't have to look all the same. So, like this, I'm going to, I'm going to click OK. So we'll duplicate the layer and then we're going to right click and flip horizontally. I will bring this layer back and then we're going to use our eraser to just clean the top side of the image, leaving it to look like this. So I'm already just the size of it. After we choose the size a bit, then we'll go to we'll create a new layer and then we're going to use our soft brush using a black background, using black color, and we're just gonna paint behind this layer like so and then we're going to click option and we'll create a clip mask on this layer and it's going to look something like this and there you can see our shadows just behind the subject so here you can now go to your background and then paste uh, any color of your choice and then you can also adjust the color by clicking ctrl u by just moving the sliders until you're satisfied with whatever background you're okay with so that's it thanks guys for watching i'll see you on the next video